there, everybody. It is I, Embrace the Matrix. How's it going? Hope everybody's doing well, rolling through in 2020. Things have been, you know, moving along for the Matrix. Um, we put out our first painting, and uh seemed like it was a bit lackluster, um, but we had to start somewhere. You know, we had to get back into it. We're going to be, you know, moving forward trying a few different things, doing some experimentation. Um, right now, I think the biggest challenge is access uh, over time. Um, so uh, I'm working on that. Uh, scheduling, uh, you know, I, uh, I do run a business and, you know, try to figure, factor in, you know, painting and playing music is uh, difficult at times. Uh, especially now. I know it's pretty cliche to say, but, you know, when people are gone, even if you didn't necessarily talk to them on a daily basis, per se, but you were really close with them, and, you know, at times, it's it just feels like a regular day. You know, it feels like, oh, just another day. Um, yeah, I'll get a hold of my buddy later or whatever, you know, continue that conversation we had. And when you go to do that, you realize the person's not there. I've been getting back into music. And like I said, I'm trying to balance art and music. Um, the last band I was in, Unified Field... I very vocally, very uh, constant reminder, if you will, like this was going to be my last original musical project. Because I'd been in many, I had pretty much reached the, uh, the heights of, you know, musicality, I guess, on an original uh, basis. So I was like, this, this was like the capper. This was, you know... Jeff writing all of the music and everything and presenting it. And it was all dope in my mind. And I loved every bit of it. And I was like, yeah, I want to play this music. This stuff is, this is great. Uh, sounds, you know, sounds modern and, you know, dynamic and thing. I was very convinced, like, this is it. This is the last band. Like, this is... This is going to be the last original project I'm in. I'm 44 years old. Uh, you know, I know I don't look a day over 25. Thanks. Appreciate it. I have this innate drive to get back on stage and play. And it's, I mean, I, I enjoy it. The push is there just on my own. But I feel like I got to do it for Jeff. I feel like I have to. I, f I feel like I have to, you know, do it. I mean, I have to get back out there and, and you know, write original music and, and play some original songs. Uh, because I love to do it, first and foremost. But, you know, it's kind of a, you know, a, a, you know, living memory, I guess. I don't know. That's the thing. When people are gone, they're gone. I mean, you have to figure out how to, uh, you know, assimilate that into your life and the fact that they're not there. And, um, you know, it sucks. I already cried my eyes out in my car coming here to my apartment to uh, make this video. So the likelihood of me breaking down again is unlikely at this point. We've, we've medicated. And, you know, composed ourselves to just make a video. More painting videos are coming. I consider Jeff the closest thing to a best friend that I had at the moment, at the time. We got along great. We uh, used to talk about different kinds of music, what we liked, the new music that had come out from old, you know, from bands that had been around a while. 
that we're just not hitting it, you know, or just like dialing it in. And, uh, you know, we turned each other on to a bunch of different bands. Uh, ridiculous uh, amount. Um, I know I can tell you right now, one of the bands I turned him on to was Omega Diatribe. I don't know. We were just always doing that kind of stuff. And of course, you know, we just, we, we knew a lot of the same people. We grew up and hung around um, all the same cliques, all the same people. But for whatever reason, our past didn't cross until, you know, four or five years ago. Well, I spoke at his memorial. Uh, I was the opener. <laughs> uh, I think I cried more than anybody, including his girlfriend. Um, but... Uh, I, I said then, I, I, I knew him and his girlfriend, Heather, I'm sh had tons of plans, you know, had a lot of plans, trips and things they were going to do. I go, but I always thought, I always envisioned, you know, me and Jeff sitting on a porch, you know, 50, 60 years old, just bitching about things. Two old ball-headed curmudgeons, you know. I talked to him over two hours the Friday uh, before he committed suicide, uh, he, he committed suicide on a Tuesday, and I had spoke to him uh, that Friday evening, and we talked for over two hours. Uh, we talked about the band and just life in general and how things were going rough for him and things. He had to move and move in with his girlfriend and stuff, and you know it was pretty down and out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know keep that but he was definitely down and out but you know we left that conversation with a lot of hope because i was in the process of about to quit the band and he knew that and i told him that and we you know by the end of that conversation you know he said a few things He was just an amazingly talented person and, you know, I can just, all I can really say is that we're, the whole world is at a, a, a gigantic loss for any future creative creativity from Jeff Dolson because he was, in, in over 25 years of playing music, he was hands down the most talented, creative person I ever, ever played music with, ever. I miss him every single fucking day. think about him all the time every time I pick up my guitar I haven't even been able to pick up a bass any of my basses and actually pluck the strings our last show was the last time we played so I have all the stuff from the show in my base case you know what I mean like I just kind of throw everything into my case that I'm gonna need and then I just gotta pretty much take my case and I literally have everything just as it was from that night I packed everything up you know we didn't play for a month uh, we never we had never got we never got back together after that show in August and then September 24th you know happened I I haven't even I don't think I've been in that case I don't, I haven't I'm just and it's it's my my Ibanez K5 corn white can't get it again they only made so many bases I'm sure eventually I'll be able to open it up and go in it but it's just gonna be a fucking tsunami of fucking you know emotions I the base isn't even clean I sweated all over that thing. Probably got the set list in there too. This is my only um, real, you know, outlet anymore, more or less, publicly, I guess you'll say. So, you know, while I do have Instagram and I put stuff out there, this is obviously where the the hub of everything will be. And that includes music, uh, art, um, you know, pretty much that. Maybe a little personal. I just thank everybody for the support, the comments, the, the questions, the, the everything. Um, please keep them coming. You know, 
Uh, we're going to start putting out, you know, more interesting content. Like I said, I do have a bunch of new ideas and stuff, you know, uh, creation space and access to it is, uh, the, you know, what we're working out right now. Um, because as most people know, you know, I'm pretty spontaneous. Um, I, I, I have a, you know, I have, you know, you know, scrambled eggs for brains pretty much. So if I'm not medicated, which I am all the time, it's hard for me to focus and get things accomplished. So we're working on it. Thanks for all the support. Keep watching. You know, if you want, share this stuff, share my channel, share some videos, let people know the Matrix is out there and it's coming back and we're going to, you know, get back to creating and doing some wild and bizarre stuff. What do you say? Yeah? Who's with me? The science of unified physics gives us a new story, story, and this is what's so important. The proof that the whole universe is a unified field. field. We live within a cosmic web of life, life which underlies and connects all forms in our universe. Every atom of life interacts with every other atom. None of us are truly separate from others. others. So first, we need to understand the field and what it is and how it fills all space. Beneath the universe we see is an underlying field or matrix, matrix like a fabric woven of energy, energy or a web of inconceivable dimensions. There is no such thing as empty space. Space is full and is absolutely seething with energy. From the emptiest intergalactic void to the depths of the earth. Uh, the sun and our own bodies. bodies. This vast field, field matrix, matrix or fabric of space-time extends over the, the whole universe. universe. We can't, we can't see this field, but we are in the intrinsic part of it. Part of Imagine it as a vast, vast integrating network. network. It is imprinting all information. It's 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 imprinting all information.